I've met up with someone um, with someone else and their date before. And then what? I've also met up with people that I knew prior, and then we both matched with each other. So we kind of knew we liked each other, and then we met up. Well, explain the first one. The I'm first one confused. was uh, Raya date, and he was going to his house in Tulum, and he invited us to go. So we went. Us. But she had invited us. My friend had matched with him on Raya. So you didn't match with him? No. So he okay. said, you two can come and come to my house in Tulum, and it'll be like a date. But we met across the world. And Raya is kind of like, it's sort of a celebrity. Yeah. Celebrities are on it, but there's regular people on it too. It's a bit more exclusive. Yeah. Though. And um, so people do, it's not just people in your area. So people, you will match with people like in New York or other places. The globalized dating marketplace, but can't you limit it to a, in the same way with the other dating apps, you can limit it to like 20 mile I radius. I don't, th I've never been. You can't do that, that on Raya? I don't think so. Well, in any case, okay, so you matched, he was in New York? He was in New York, but he was going to his house in Tulum. That's in Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. And so, okay, you're and you're in Santa Barbara, correct? We were in LA. You were in LA, you matched with a guy in New York. See, I mean, this is one of the reasons why I think dating is so fucked up is because 10, 20 years ago, if a girl lived in Idaho, her dating pool was the dudes in Idaho, in her city. Mm -hmm. At, like the people she worked with her friend circle maybe if she went to bars or clubs or whatever now it's globalized now like even just like like a good-looking girl in i don't know redding california <laughs> the fucking boonies of california you know like some dude in la some dude in miami hey let me fly you out totally. so okay it's the tenderization uh, you're always looking for something better it's well yeah, it does ruin dating like a well lot. it ruins dating for men i think but um I think it kind no, of ruins I think it goes both, both ways. ways. I feel and like I think it's an effect on more than just dating, too. Yeah, it has a huge effect on, like, our whole generation and the way we, like, look towards things. I agree. Well, it's there's definitely an impact on both men and women, but uh, there's certainly no 19-year-old men who are getting DM'd by wealthy women in Miami and L.A. to get flown out, but... Hey, man, you never know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, I'm, look, I'm, I'm speaking in generalities here. The, the exception does not make the rule, so... Are there sugar mamas? Yes. Are 99% of people who are sugaring, it's men. So there are sugar mamas out there, but the exception does not make the rule. So, okay, he was in New York, mm -hmm. correct? And what was he, an uh, actor, a musician? What was he? He's a celebrity photographer. Celebrity photographer. Okay, so he's got some clout. Yeah, he Blue does. check on Instagram. Yeah. So you and your friend, she was on Raya. Mm -hmm. He invited you to his house in Tulum yeah uh did he pay for the flights no you paid for the mm -hmm. flights but he it was his house so that where we were living was paid for was he there yes okay and did, he matched with your friend mm -hmm. did they smash no uh did anything go down mm 